That shake. And you can tell some good shake too. Listen. Right? That, that ain't good. Right? <coughs> oh, that's, uh, oh, right there. That's what that Sharp heads. We finna get the show started. Welcome back to the J Matt Show. I'm J Matt. This is the J Matt Show. We got the homie Smoke. We got Smoke. Q the intern. We got big homie Q. And we got Wayne. First thing we gonna do. No, first thing I wanna do before I forget. If y'all new, like, subscribe. All the day ones, y'all know what to do, man. Get in the comment section, hit that like, share all that good shit. So, it's only right we start show 92 like this. I think we should all give a nice, warm welcome back to Bill Cosby. <laughs> Wild Bill Huxtable. You thought I was about to say Bill. Wayne, didn't you? <laughs> I did look at this nigga too, though. You know, I, I did look at this nigga. Oh, I love this nigga like he about to. No, all right, all we right. gotta welcome. Back. I knew what it was. We gotta welcome I'm Bill back with into Bill. the free welcome world. Bill, yeah. Out to Bill. Yes. Flat out. Shout out to the to the uh, to the elder Bill Cosby. He's back. He's home. This is breaking news. It's just happened today, and I can't be more excited. I'll be definitely. He's an elderly man. Definitely. He was wrongly convicted of some bullshit. That was definitely some bullshit. And now he's free. And he stuck to his guns. He said, look, man, y'all want me to do some therapy to get out early. I didn't rape no bitches. I mean, no women. I am an you innocent right. man. I, I don't no have bitches. no sex problem. <laughs> so right. I want y'all's thoughts on that. Because we was kind of talking about it before we started. Hey, I, man, I like the fact he stuck to his guns. And now he's free. Hey, he, he said, he say, I mm -hmm. served this whole 10-year sentence before I show any type of remorse. He, he said it. Yeah. I, I served a whole 10 you know, I mean, hey, right listen, listen, I don't, I don't, I... Stand up, God. <laughs> you know what it is, this, man. Which y'all think, y'all think Bill was throwing the pills and the drinks or no? My thing is, if he was, they knew what it was. Yeah. They knew what it was. We they showed that shit now, but yeah. nigga, um, I feel like they didn't, they came this in the spotlight. Like, listen, you can't get in here unless you snort these five lines and shit. Bitch was like. Is this him now? The, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, literally. No, hard. they was on it though. If you gotta snort these lines, come in here, have some drinks. They did all that before they came in here. That right. that that's the part right. that make it kind of difficult for. God damn, it's right. it's all right, man. We just we definitely didn't need it. <laughs> Q, now he made QB right. This nigga didn't even need the shit. Huh? <laughs> so just left the bitch in there. What they say in the court? Ball don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> that that beard did, beard did not lie. The beard did not lie. You know that shit. Hey, that's filled out his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it should be a beard. towel in the back there. Beard. Use a towel, nigga. Cause you about to use a million of my fucking paper towels. You know what I do like though? Yeah, just get a, it. It should like, be a towel over there. I like that they are making this news. I'm not. I'm glad they're not uh, trying to sweep it under the rug. Like, oh, mm -hmm. Bill got out and not really cover what happened. So, right. I, and I also like the fact that Bill, by sticking to his guns, is is. He kind of forced everybody, especially the white folks who put him there, mm -hmm. to like look in the mirror. Because if he was doing this with his other white friends that were of a higher status of celebrity, like, uh, what's his name, Hugh Hefner? Mm. If you're doing it oh, in conjunction shit. with him, mm. and somebody made this point early, I don't, can't remember who it was, I don't want to steal credit for this, but there's basically saying that now we can understand that that's Hugh Hefner's lifestyle. Yeah. Because... Playboy Mansion is all about sex. It that's is. what that's definitely. what it is. Oh, definitely. So if, if the culture at the mansion is Quaaludes and, and sex, then that's his lifestyle. Why y'all let him live like that for so long? But y'all want to stick a black man in there for allegedly on some hearsay shit. Well, it's like y'all gotta look in the mirror. The right ones though, you have this. He the right folks go there. It's a play, like you say, it's his shit. He invite the right people there. Y'all have a good time. You're not gonna question this situation because ain't nobody know. shutting down the match. Right, because nigga, <laughs> when you get you there, it's like, nigga, I'm here at the place. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they're not shutting that down. He he tapped in with the right folks, man. That kind of almost seemed like um, one of those situations where if you get to make it to the Playboy Mansion, you shut up and and and, and follow suit. Like when in Rome, hell yeah, do as the Romans. It's right. something like that's the yeah. rules at the Playboy Mansion, like. What happens in Vegas? Vegas Day, Day, Vegas. I know all the way for you to say so that. So it's like exactly. everybody is like everybody is waiting a chance to get that invitation to the Playboy Mansion. So once you in there and you see what the fuck the inner workers is like, you better shut the fuck up mm -hmm. and be glad that you're here. Yeah. Or we will ruin you. Easy. 
Easy. Too many, too many. Or we ain't been through here. You ain't about to fuck exactly. none, none of this up. No, nah, it that, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, shout out to Bill. Definitely okay. shout out to Bill. Um, I, it, this, it's going. It's, it made a lot of women mad though, because you got a lot of people that believe that he did it, and you know, I don't want to be insensitive to you know, you know, be like chauvinistic or nothing like that. But it's hard for me to believe that that he had to do this. That he that he had to drug these people like like the reality of it man man you Bill Cosby I honestly believe that some things was consensual but do I believe that he probably might in his younger years might have used some of his power and his position to probably leverage some ass I would say do the I believe odds, it the odds are probably that he did it so yeah he I'll did I'll take that did, but I'll take that you know but. I, I don't I don't feel like it's what they making him out to be or whatever. I mean I feel like I feel like some people have more of a choice than they making it seem like that right. they had. Right. Oh, it was definitely a choice up in there. And it's it definitely. Man, who said somebody else said something that was like I'm like that might be the like hitting the nail on the head right there. Where it's it's that buyer's remorse for the women. Mm. We can't speak for women. Ain't no women down here, but no. we have. We all have women in our lives. We've heard their stories. We know how feel some of off. the experiences <laughs> is. Exactly. Yeah, like, I thought off. this nigga was this, but then after I gave him the pussy, he found out it was this. That's that buyer's mm -hmm. remorse. I, I didn't get what I wanted out of the deal. I didn't get I, what I, I wanted. I feel, like, I feel like, you know, not to like pivot or switch gears, but I feel like Deshaun Watson kind of experiencing a little oh, bit of that right now. But, you know, that's a different, poor that's a different Deshaun conversation. Deshaun Watson. Poor guy. Yeah. And and that oh. and that's a that's an unpopular opinion right Shit. there, but it is what it is. What I, I, well, now we ain't gonna get into it too much. Yeah, but Deshaun I'm, Watson is being accused of uh, sexual assault, assault basically on a yeah. bunch of ma massage therapists. And oh, wow. now let's go ahead and point this out because you know I've been on that Asian hate shit for the last couple of shows. Ooh. It happened. All this shit allegations came out during the height of the Asian hate yeah. shit. And at a time that he decided he wanted to get out of Houston, and then all right. of a sudden right. this came yeah. out. So yeah. that's not like there's no coincidence. Things going yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. No, it ain't no coincidence for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. So, so, they turn yeah. the turn when there's smoke, there's fire. Um. Um, was expressed to me, and I'm like, but you gotta understand what what's considered the fire. Right. You know, what I'm saying, is, is it Deshaun Watson or is it the organization that's probably trying to hold him hostage? You know, right. so. But like, you, like I said, that's because a different his, discussion. His, his volume plummeted now. Now, so now it's yeah. almost like he, they say he has to stay. Because you ain't gonna give up a bunch of assets to trade for him at this point, because you don't know if he's gonna. Be playing. Man, they don't I know do. if he's even gonna be playing for the. For but, Houston. but like you said, that's all contrived. That's all orchestrated. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, what they call it? Um, the shit in the news that just be bullshit slander. It's orchestrated slander, in my mm -hmm. opinion. We don't know the facts, but hopefully that shit comes out. Yeah. And my man gets his just due. You're right. Now what I want to do is, I want to properly welcome the homie back, though, for sure. Welcome back. It's been a minute. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's been and a long minute. I'm going to give you the opportunity to talk today because... Me? Yeah. Oh, shit. You're yeah, you you going to speak as much as you want because... Oh, man. I feel like... And this is all out of love and respect, though, for real. All right. Ain't no hate and shit involved. Ain't no sly shit. But the topic, the main topic, and I want to call this like the overall thing for the show is going to be rebranding. Mm. Rebranding. Now why you say it ain't no why you uh say it ain't no hate and shit or nothing like that? Why? Because you know what I'm saying? We was talking about this over over uh Jimmy House. Now, since you asked on camera, I have to let's give some backstory. Uh, oh, let's shit. give backstory. Hey, I don't know what he comes Let's boy. give backstory. Damn. Everybody okay. got what's that what's called a testimony, right? Okay. Well, yeah. we ain't in church, yeah. but we're gonna get it popping, right? Let's do it. So everybody come from somewhere, everybody has a certain point in their life where they discover that they're at a new stage or they discover their purpose or what they're supposed to do, their passion, whatever you wanna call it. And it happens at different times in everybody's lives, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the rebranding shit, before I even get back to you on that. The rebranding shit can't popped in my head when we was talking about hoes and hoes that we used to know. Right. We all knew hoes. <laughs> now, yeah. there are hoes all over the globe. Hell in yeah. Area codes. Area codes. All the <laughs> in area different codes. area codes. In all the area codes. <laughs> He's on my bar. <laughs> you right with so, so we all know these hoes, right? And these hoes, 
oftentimes go through a phase of rebranding because they find themselves wives. They say you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. So if you a hoe, you best be rebranding yourself if you try to get a nigga to put a ring on. So that's when the 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 the, the topic actually like sparked because all right, we know it is it's pot is you think about it, man. We'd be like, damn, man, I don't remember when that bitch had that walk of shame. Oh yeah, yeah. well mm-hmm. bitches can do that though. Mm-hmm. You like, know what I mean? But she had right like, several walk of shames in one day. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. We talking about real live hoes. Right I know you like, talking about it too. So, and that particular but then one, you definitely <laughs> And then you definitely fast forward herself. Shit. And you like you look on the gram and like, oh, like a nigga that got, oh, a nigga that got you, huh? You, oh. A nigga that got you. He don't know the shit about or you. Or, or, or you got him. <laughs> Somebody got, he got, just, got him. He just don't know you. Somebody That's got good, something. though. That's good. That's. But like you said, what do you say? You don't know you. Yeah. But yeah. at that point, he didn't know the old her. And that's how we get to that topic of rebranding because not only on just hoes, I feel like, like you got to rebrand in life often. Because it goes back to that uh, term we were saying a couple of shows, uh, adjusting and adapting. Yeah, that could yeah. be kind of a, a phase of rebranding. And part, part of it, like part, part, part of it also comes with experience and maturity. Right. You know what I mean. You Definitely. go through different things because, like you, like man, like we talked about the other night. And I ain't about to disclose some of the things that we discussed the other night, but uh, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect you to. <laughs> but uh, man, I, I, I look at the, the the stages that I've went through in my adult life to be in, like. Man, military, college. Oh, yeah, I forgot about fi- that. Right, college, fighting in the clubs, or whatever, being this rapper. Crazy, uh, oh, my God, a rapper. Man, I was good, maybe. too. And then a but Christian rapper. Then, wait a minute, then a Christian rapper, a, a, a youth leader in the church, then being a family man, then, what? oh, my God. Bro, and then, boy, he doesn't, he doesn't wear many hats. I, I, I don't wear many hats, all the way to getting to a point now of being a financial literacy instructor and being like trying to just be a staple in the community Let's you know as it. far as this positive positivity is trying to see you know our culture of people just be able to come up and be able to learn the things that whole build wealth break curses mm-hmm. thing that i got man that shit real but a lot of it comes from all of these experiences that i done went through in life i'm taking all of that stuff everything that i done went through and i think about like what could have been different that could have made my life easier that could have changed things. And when I go through everything, man, a lot of it came from trial and error. And a lot of it came from, you know, this is no knock against anybody's parents, but I feel like in our community, there's so many things that it is that we just don't know. We we, we carry, we, we just continue to pass down the same cycle of certain things and and we don't break out of it to be able to put ourselves in a position of success. It's like, like, it's like we just keep passing down struggle. And it's like, man, well, we, parents like, do that. They, they pass that, that shit down. Pass yeah. down parents, they do that. Parents do that. You, you unfortunately get some of that struggle, that even that pain or whatever it is. Yeah. They definitely put it in their kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, just, it's almost, uh, it's ignorance. It's like they didn't know, they only knew what they knew. Right. Yeah. So it's almost like it's, they were ignorant, not not in like a, a, a real negative aspect of the word, but yeah, just they, not knowing. They just not educated about this shit though. That's the thing though, just not educated though. Cause you can talk to some motherfuckers, like I said the one time, like my father, he was like, when it came to credit, he said the craziest shit. <laughs> he was like, shit, credit, he's like, you know, my, it's like my mother says shit. If they give it to you, make sure you take it. And it was like, oh, that, that's what? it? That's it? Like, we just gonna run with Don't that? Don't pay I'm the like, bill. You, I'm like, you I'm better like, take it. You can't just, I'm like, see, there's more to it. I'm like, yeah. see, you gotta, it's, <laughs> like, you gotta break that chain right there. I'm like, I can't feel that way about credit. No, I can't. And I can't no. teach my kid to feel that way about credit also. I, I just so. hate that. I just hate that. I hate that it took so long for me to learn a lot of what it is that I learned, but I learned it at necessary times of my life. I time learned it at everything. times where it was going, where it was going to make sense, make a right, difference. Right. <clears throat> but not just in my life, but I feel like that I was put in a position to to learn it the way that I did because it was my, it was for me to teach it to other people. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's well, where I stand with Time is everything. If you would have had this information before, who's to say where you'd be at? Man, I probably would have, I would have squandered it, it probably. Who's to say where you'd be at? Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah. timing is everything with with any and everything. Timing. Absolutely. Yeah. Nah. That's real. Now, what? What? I'm not going. This ain't no interview. But I want all y'all to answer this shit. 
But I want to start with Wayne though. What what do you think the catalyst was to you getting on track with what you feel like you actually was supposed to be doing? Was there a moment where you was like, man, you know what? This shit is I'm on some bullshit. Or you or was it or was it just a accumulation of shit where you was like Man, I'm going to tell you, be real, it started with my first marriage. Okay. My first marriage, man, I'm telling you, man, I could write a book about this shit, man. Um, it, it, it really was some Jerry Springer type shit. You know, that was I, a good show. Man, no. <laughs> this, this right here, no. If, I, if, if, Jerry Springer, if this, if this would have been told to Jerry Springer, man, he would have been like, man, we can't air this shit. But, uh, but it, yeah, it, it was rough. That was but too hot for TV. It, it, it was, all right. I do remember that. For real. I do remember for real, that. man. I, I might sell this story to Tyler Perry or something. Where me a fuck no, fuck just weird. give it to the Jay Mesha. There it is. <laughs> No, but uh, yeah, that was that was my turning port point as far as wanting to go in the direction of like just trying to walk this straight and narrow. But even that came with a whole lot more. Just I'm I'm a big believer now in it, the same energy you put out is the same energy you're gonna get back. And the more and more that I started to like walk the straight and narrow, I feel like that's when I when God started to guide me a little bit better and started to just put me in positions for me to learn more and everything like that and. To be honest, man, it kind of like happened naturally. Like I just happened to be in the right places at the right time, and I think it's just be, it was just due to me just trying to be obedient to wanting to be a better person. That's what's up. That's good shit. That's awareness. Yeah, exactly. awareness is one of. The, and you get um, tired, man. Wait, man, you man, you done seen me be the dude on the couch. You done seen yeah. this, man. When you go through certain things in life, man, you get exhausted. When you start seeing that your bullshit just keeps landing you in the same places, man, it just gets to a point. It's like it's time for a change, man. Yeah, you don't want to get buried in your bullshit. And yeah. no, that's, no, not, no. that's not that's, that's yeah. a painful, slow death. Nobody wants to die in their bullshit. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, like your nickname at that point, and you embraced it, was the I nigga did. on the nigga couch. on the couch. These was, er these was some earlier years, 1920, you was one of man. That was rough. Niggas on the couch, man. I swear, <laughs> man. This nigga was this nigga was there, man. What you need? Yeah. Like, man, Wayne was. I was a host, man. <laughs> Wayne was like, yeah. It's like you always knew this nigga was going to be around or he was on his way. <laughs> hey. The only thing I was good for then was being able to bring some girls. <laughs> I could do that. He did a good job. I could bring some a, women to the table under any circle stay. I wouldn't have a dime in my pocket, but I could bring some women yeah, from somewhere. That's because he was light skinned and he had a tongue. He was nice saying women. So he call, you were calling <laughs> them women at that you know time, too. Huh? He was calling them women at that no, time. No, man, I'm calling said, them women you right you now. Look at See how long I said? I said he was light skinned and had a tongue ring. Get the fuck out of here. He had that goddamn tongue ring, nigga. All right, that's it. Hey, but you know what? Hey, 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 they went for it. This nigga. They went for it. When was, when was your, did you have a point in your life where you decided it was like, I needed to rebrand uh, either, either a, a part of my life or my whole life? It happens, yeah. I had that moment before. Shit, even working at Amazon, getting a job, mm. man. I had to get a job for that shit with, with, with Trav and shit. I mean, right. like, I Just was to stay real. focused. Well, I wouldn't have looked at. I thought I was fine for real, for real. It was the wife that was like, "Nigga, you need to, you need something. You need to do something different." Yeah. Just being there, like doing the same old, like you, you, you fucked up every day, like on some geek and high shit. You just need something different. And shit, I worked at Amazon for a second. As, as much as I was like out the work f field, it was like weird as hell. And I'm just like. I try it, fuck it. It's part time. I'm not about to be in this bitch working full time. I stuck with it for a second. That's where I met this little nigga at. Right, right. So I mean, at that point, that was a that was a change of shit, but it made me um, you know, I worked. He's talking about somebody off camera when he say little nigga because nah, <laughs> <laughs> clearly I ain't pointing you, nigga. I, I did go this way. <laughs> you so big, we had to move the camera. Right, right look, nigga, look, 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 I went <laughs> over here. He they couldn't fit in the frame. This nigga. <laughs> Mm. No, but you know what? That was one time I would say. So, you know. I should. Sure, I got a few times where I've I've had to rebrand, but the most, you, you know what? As far as business goes, will I'll be completely honest. I had to rebrand the J Matt show when your ass left the show. When you left the show, it was scramble mode, but it was like a blessing because. I feel like I wouldn't have actually grown my channel. 
because mm. all I was doing was the podcast. Mm. That's the only thing I was uploading on the channel was the podcast. And when I had no podcast left, I had to figure out a new way to attack my business strategy for branding the J Mass Show. Mm. There was literally a rebranding, a real rebranding process that I had to go through that took months. It took months for me to figure out what the new strategy was right. to get at least to the next step in branding the J Mass Show. Like I had to actually be like, all right, the J Mass Show ain't just a podcast, yeah. but the podcast is what I use to bring people into literally like who I am, get a feel for mm -hmm. my, my personality, what I'm into, mm -hmm. shit like that. But what? how can I showcase a little bit more of me in a different way? So then I was like, oh, the reactions and the, yeah. you know what I mean? And the yeah. vlogs and I, had, and I had to try to do that shit actively because I wasn't about to let the momentum that nigga was having like just like, go stop. away. Like yeah. you just, that's not, that wouldn't be a wise move when a nigga trying to actually build something, right? Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and I and I I know, like like COVID was tough for everybody, man. Like like man, when I tell you, I was on lockdown, <laughs> like for real, man. You know, having a, a wife that was at risk and everything like that, man. When I tell you, man, it was it was difficult to get out the house, man. I was like a kid getting off punishment when I could leave. The <laughs> yeah. whole the whole world, had, I feel like yeah, the whole world did, had yeah. to go through a phase of rebranding. They mm -hmm. did. During COVID, <clears throat> you know how many yeah. people figured out ways to like go into business for themselves. I was about COVID? to say, man, COVID was a good <laughs> like, time. COVID was was work did work wonders for a lot of people, especially with their businesses. Man, they, it it put a lot of people in a position where they had to sit down and focus. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying now you got time to be able to work on that business. You got the means to be able to do it. People, it's a lot of people stack money and put them in the right places to be able to come up during COVID. Man. I know I did. <laughs> you know what though? Ironically, ironically, I feel like COVID created a situation where you didn't have no excuses. Even though you had a you biggest excuse, which, which, which was shit now. You feel what I'm saying? Have. Like the biggest excuse in the world, which is COVID, to like stay at home and not do shit. But at the same time, you getting all type of money from the government. I've never seen no shit like this in my life. Mm -hmm. Like you're getting loans, you're getting you getting approved for shit that you would never get approved for. So at that point it's like, damn, you still got excuses? Like I know I know COVID hit hard for some people, but there's 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 things that can happen for those who are not that hardly hit. That's not that's cuz I don't want to be insensitive cuz a lot of people got Yeah, you got some up. people that didn't that, that didn't get to take advantage of a lot of the benefits yeah. that some people, other people did. But for the people that did, even for the people that took advantage of it and wasn't supposed to. Because I do want to like, say. Like, man, if you took advantage of any, whether you got the unemployment, <laughs> whether you got the grants, the loans, anything, man. If you're in the same position that you was in before COVID, that's on you. I do want to say this, though. Because there are a lot of people in some states where they didn't receive their unemployment benefits for months. Like, yeah. People was, like, really, really, really struggling Damn, they're homeless on that shit. Yeah. So it was a lot of people that didn't get yeah. their money as quickly as others. Yeah. <laughs> some niggas didn't, was waiting six, seven months for some unemployment. Yeah, you had some people that was really getting furloughed for real. Yeah. Man. Like, and, like, and even with the extra assistance for a lot of what people had going on, it wasn't enough. <laughs> yeah, so I don't want to like overlook it and make it seem like, you know what I'm saying, we over here oh, winning because niggas making moves during the pandemic. Like the Migos and I know shit. one thing. Shout out to <laughs> niggas who did get that shit. They probably weren't supposed to get that shit. I, I'm rooting hey, for y'all. I'm rooting for and, everybody. And, 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 I'm, I'm rooting for everybody who did right with it. Rude and for everybody your body, black. hey, salute to you now. Like you say, they ain't do shit with it. You stupid, but mm-mm. But my, my, I'm going to tell you, with me being in my field, I will say this. I come across so many people. Like, the thing is, if you didn't have the mindset when it comes to just being financial literate, financially literate prior to getting that money, you blew it. And that goes back to you what you were saying, it. though, about yeah. being educated, though. Niggas yeah. don't really know what to do with money, though. So you got to have, if you if you did get that money, somebody got you on some crazy shit, and you got 10 to whatever it is, just something that you don't normally, that you ain't normally seen in yeah. one lump sum, nigga, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, niggas is going to be like, I'm going to do this, do that. They just... 
not do it right. Like man. I tell That's, people all the time, like even when people be getting their credit repaired, I'll be like, man, along with getting doing credit repair, mm -hmm. you need to get some type of form of education when it comes to being financially literate because mm -hmm. if you don't know how to manage your money, you're going to end, eventually end up needing credit yeah, repair again. again. Like just credit, credit repair, that's just a temporary fix. You still don't know money. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing. Like you said, they got to learn money. Yeah. You got to learn. <laughs> like, I want to ask y'all another question on the rebranding because y'all you know, mentioned learning. What did you learn going through your rebranding process? What, with my business? Anything, well, well, whatever rebranding we well, 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 about. Like, what you learned during that process? Man, uh, I think the world changes. That, like, like a, a big part of my uh, rebranding not only came from just changes, just like with the world, but opportunity is what really made me have to do some rebranding. Because when I start, when we started our company, it wasn't, we weren't even teaching financial literacy. That was an opportunity that we stumbled across. And that worked, and we decided to run with it. Had to restructure and just change up mm -hmm. everything, and um, it opened up a new de demographic. And but what more importantly, what came with that rebranding process was the additional education that was necessary. Like because if I'm, I'm like if I'm going to sit up here and go in this direction, I need my I need the consumers to know that I'm credible. So I had to go and get that additional education, right. become certified. Get the credentials. Yeah, they, I need the credentials. So for me, the rebranding re was great because you know it built, it helped to be able to not just rebrand, but we rebuild and grow the business. So you know it, it was beneficial to me. You know sometimes it 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 comes at a cost, but if you're doing business the right way, the, that cost that it, uh, that money that it cost you or whatever, you're gonna recoup it real yeah, quick with a whole lot more. It. And I, I try to tell people all the time, don't don't shortcut, don't cut corners. Just go ahead, pay the money, do what it is that you need to do to do your business right. And if you do good business and you serve the people, the money will come. A rebranding process. Smoke. Uh, be honest, things. too, nigga. Don't, don't be trying no, to hold No, just a back, bunch nigga. of things. Shit, I mean, just the whole rebranding. I would say just looking at money different. Like I say, just learning about money. I'm a cash dude. I deal with cash. You know That's mean? how so, I was, too. I'm more into cash, you know what I'm saying? So, but now I'm more on that credit shit, you know what I mean? I, mm. I still keep the cash, don't give me, I fuck with the cash, but I credit you up in the heartbeat. I'm gonna pull that card out, you know what I'm saying? And cash so still can, but that, that credit is leverage. It is, and it is, and but you couldn't even tell me shit because I deal with the cash so much. I'll just, huh, you know what I'm saying? Versus that card right. and just pay, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. But that's, I would say, what I learned is that. I be on that credit sheet more now, so we try to stack the cash. Man, yeah. I, my my lesson probably with my rebranding is more it's it's specific as hell because it's some YouTube shit. What is it? But I could generalize it, you know what I'm saying, make it a, applicable for everybody. But I would say probably the main the main lesson that I I learned during my rebranding is to stay focused mm. and stay staying focused is, is easier said than done of mm -hmm. course that's what a lot of stuff though so it's like for me i had to literally i had to literally like put my head down and, and try and my plan out despite whoever said they might have understood it or not mm -hmm. like i i gotta stay focused and keep moving forward on some difficult shit that I ain't, ain't I ain't never did this shit before. Right. So it's like just stay focused. No, I give you that. That shit is hard. That's magic it's though. Fun. Especially during right, times man, where, uh, where things ain't going necessarily the way that you wanted them to go. Right. Being able to like keep your composure and, and not let the fresh got me two of those. So. Two two shot glasses coming up. Cause I know Marley G over here want a shot glass. Oh, look at you don't need nothing in them. Pass one, pass you don't need one me to Marley pour nothing in them. <laughs> they got, they got, they got, the, bottle, they got the bottle they over there. Oh, okay, That's okay. the code. You got the code, uh -huh. I got you. Yeah, when you, you, ain't want me, you ain't want me to pour, huh? Pour that one up right there. You ain't want me, why you ain't want me to pour? <laughs> what you say, right? You playing bartender. Nah, it's shit. cool. <laughs> oh, fuck that. <laughs> fuck no, nah, it's all right. You already overlooked me. Yeah, I said <laughs> You look past yeah, me. I'll just bring it back over here. Bring it over here, though. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all <are> funny. <laughs> now, 
Oh, one, last one last question. One last question. Yeah, I pour yeah. As I pour these last, as I pour these up. One last question for y'all. And then we gonna get on to some other shit. But I swear I'm gonna still tie it into the rebranding somehow, mm -hmm. some way, somehow. <laughs> he gonna say somehow. All this shit is connected, man. <laughs> the force is with you. When y'all going through uh, rebranding processes, right? Some of this shit, people don't understand what you're going through, right? Definitely. And your decision is always based on you. It's your decision, so you got to stick with your decision no matter what. If, especially if you're a real man. That's how we rap. Right. Just make your, make your, you stand on it. No, definitely. What type of fucking toll does it take, if any at all, emotionally on you, when you in the process of doing some new shit that ain't nobody else seen you do before? <laughs> because you know the mother, like, you know shit can come at you from different angles. And, and like it's supposed People you know. expect certain shit from you. Right. And when you start, you start veering off the trap like this nigga, man. What the fuck? This nigga. Man. This did. nigga think this. Uh, this yeah. nigga think, oh, you think you know everything. Oh, you hear all type of shit. Or just the opinions like you, so you think this gonna work? This your plan? What type of toll does that take on you do? emotionally? Or do you, how, how do you deal with that shit emotionally? Got all type of ways to deal with it emotionally. It depends on how you deal with emotions, first off. And like you say, where you getting it from? You getting it from the wife, uh, a mama, a close one, I don't know. But it's all on you. Me personally, I, you know, we spark up. As long as, I see the, as long as I see it, I'm running with it. I really, I really don't care too much. I'll hear it. You know what I mean? Whatever you that's trying to throw me off. Like, like I said, like, are you sure? Like, so, you know. Like, yeah, this and this, I know, like, yeah, this is what I'm doing. You just gotta. You put the blinders on, kind yeah, of. Yeah, you know what I mean? You gotta kind of black them out. If you got a plan, you gotta stick with it. And I'm just gonna say, like, people can't throw, it can be male or female, but a lot of, I would say, a female can change your mind a little bit because they have, they'll, they'll overthink shit faster than we will. Did you take this in consideration? Like, all this type of shit? Like, I, I got it. That is a good point <laughs> that you it. said. They overthink shit. Yeah. Quickly. True. They That's immediately true. go overboard with you the You will thoughts. have a fire going with some shit. Like, sure. this is what I want to do. Put that and they're going to put that shit right the fuck right out. The fuck out. My mama do right out. And it's like, okay. <laughs> you can think about it. That's true you to the motherfucker. <laughs> but, and I'll leave it though and not even say Holy you want to take it in consideration. But it's like... I thought about all that shit I wonder shit if they already. know that they do that. No. No, that's a woman thing. That's just that's just it that's just in them. Just to overthink. Just we be can we can concerned all the time. Concerned, it definitely concerned. But we can definitely go to a where overthinking definitely plays a part in there. Cause y'all all who's married at least know got all type of shit where your wife will call you with <laughs> some shit with a simple option. And it's like you didn't even really need to call me with these two options. You could have just picked one. Ah, yeah, I get that. You didn't. I, I didn't even. I you, we didn't even need this. They need to. They need to hear themselves talk it out though. And What's then it? they talk it out, and then you don't say nothing but three, four words, and then they're like, you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead. And I'm with that because we're simple. Crazy. Simplicity. Oh, we were talking about that. We were talking about that earlier. Oh, Simplicity. Time. Simplicity. Yeah. Why the fuck did you call me? Shit is too complex with them sometimes. So back to what you said. We are though. more simple. Just we are more simple. Stick things. with it. We are more what? of a stick with it. Now, if it didn't turn out the way we. You know what I mean? If, if it's if it didn't turn out the way, then I want to own my own mistake. Right? They're like, all right. I don't want the mistake to become a right. no suggestion right. that I right. fucking no. You, you just gave me. me. Man, listen, let me. Let no, me, I just know that's a woman thing. Yeah. Nobody, and we married, like, nigga. Yeah. We ain't been through. I mean, dealing with females. For oh no, my, like, like, <laughs> like, like, like I, do, I do business with my wife. So what? Um, my wife, I, my wife trusts me in business. So that that's not a problem. I necessarily got to deal with too much. But I will say, overall, going back to the question that you asked. Is what what I did to be able to deal with things is you got to get to a point where you condense your atmosphere atmosphere a little bit. And when I say that, I mean it like this: we didn't talked about earlier all the hats I've worn, but more importantly, all of the bullshit that I've done. So when I started to go in the direction, especially of business, you got a lot of people that's like, oh, Wayne's doing this, Wayne's doing that. So regardless of how much I knew what I was doing and how much I knew what I was talking about. You get some people that's just going to try to hold you accountable because of your past, regardless of where you're going or where, or where you're at right then in your life and where you're trying to go. 
So what ends up, and then what ends up happening is that you actually have some people that want to hold you to your past right. because they don't want to see you do yeah. better. Some okay, people actually right. like to see you doing bad. Yeah. So when you start doing good, they're going to start bringing up your past just to get people to not want to, to support Ooh. you or see you doing good. So here's what you do. Ooh. I wouldn't be got those credentials that you talked about. I wouldn't became credible, but more importantly, I became consistent. Mm. Keep on doing that a year over year over year over year, opposed to being one of them situations where it's two weeks doing the right thing and you right back to your bullshit. No, I had to show that I was for real. Guess what? A lot of them same people are still sitting back waiting for me to fall. But guess what? Them same people, I never even know what they got going on because they're not a part of my well, circle see, no right. more. And then in addition to that, in addition to that, <laughs> we about this uh, look, 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 them not no longer being a part of my circle, I'm still doing, so I, I'm not frustrated. Like we said, the blinders. Like at this point, I'm like, now those same people, uh, some of them people that sit up here like, hey, Wayne. And it's like, hey, how you doing? You have a good day. We ain't got nothing to talk about because when you, you didn't believe this. But not but but I don't care about the people that didn't believe in me. The people that spoke foul. The people that wanted to see me fail. Them the ones where it's like I don't deal with. But some people, sometimes you do got to grind and be able to show that you are credible to be able to rub elbows with certain people. But them other ones, I'm cool I on just, you. It don't bother me at all. I just had a no. thought when you was just talking Shit. because I started with a question which I was asking y'all like how y'all deal with the emotions, uh, you know, fucking with your rebranding and shit. Like how do you... But but maybe the real question would be, and the, the actual question should be, is how is other people dealing with their emotions seeing you going through your rebranding? So, maybe it's they maybe it's they emotions that's the ones that's fucked up. Come on, it man. is. I, I, I know who real and who ain't. It is. You know what I'm talking about? I know who real and who ain't, man. I done got unfollowed by some people, which is cool with me too. I done got some family that don't mess with me. That's cool with me too. Um, hey man, sometimes Success come with a price, a big one. Some, sometimes, and, it come I with a price. and I ain't even. And in my I, opinion, I ain't I'm there not saying, yet. I'm not even there. I ain't there yet. <laughs> we ain't there yet. We I ain't got, there yet. <laughs> niggas, I fuck with got big goals. I say mm. embrace the hate though. It, that's to keep you on. I, I don't embrace. I ignore the hate. Nah, embrace it. Though. And ain't nothing I mean, to embrace. Well, it I don't want. I don't even want to know what you mean. That's fine. That's fine. Of course, I know what you mean too. But I'm just saying embrace it because that's gonna keep it. That that's also for well at least for me part of a motivation because if you ain't got no haters, you ain't doing shit. But you know what? So. What's, what what sucks is sometimes is niggas that you, or people, niggas, females, whatever, that you cool with, like you say, but the, the, the people who hate on them niggas is stuck in the same place. Yeah. So That's because, and you know what, a lot of them people, man. think about this, so I mean, I'm going to talk, I'm going to speak solely on myself with this. A lot of people that have a, that, that I guess I can say they hate what it is that I'm doing now, it ain't that they, they hate that I'm doing good. It, they hate because it was a point in time where I was not doing better than them. So you got a lot of people that's just yeah, like, man, like they'll support you as long as you're not doing better than what it is that they're doing. And and as long as they can keep you down here and they can look down at you, they cool. But as soon as it's like, oh, you didn't got there, yeah. now they want to act funny. They, they, and they make it seem like you acting funny <laughs> because of how they view you. Well, yeah, because you uh, is acting funny because I'm on some, I'm elevating and you just staying here. You stay. That's what some people don't understand. If you got so called friends, people who fuck with you, and they see that you you always trying to elevate better yourself. If you doing that, they rocking with you because of that. If they if they not embracing that, then clearly they sitting still. You know what I mean? Like I you, love you, you seeing can't, people do good. You can't do nothing with Me that. Too. I love seeing up. people oh. succeed. I know a lot of people my age it. right now. Them niggas, when you talking about sitting still, I mean literally sitting still. Like these niggas is sitting look, look, look. still. I love, it. I love it so much that I, I, I <laughs> love it so much that I got a business where I'm trying to help people do it. Hey. That's how much I love seeing it happen. Hey, man, shout out to my nigga <laughs> Goody. Goody, man, I swear, man. Every time I see you doing shit, big shit like sitting fourth row uh, at the uh, Javante Davis fight. I, that shit make me so fucking proud. I'm inspired I, by that kind of stuff. That's, yeah, that's motivation. The yeah. life that's good. That people aspire to be like. Yeah. I love that shit. So I reach out to the niggas that I know doing good, and I I encourage them to keep doing it. Yeah. yeah. How like, often does that happen? Like you get some people that are <laughs> too often. You know what niggas is sour in their own situations though. And then to say that mm -hmm. I actually knew this person, or I used to kick it with this person, they doing all this, and they not doing nothing. It's it's really something sad within themselves bro, bro for yeah. real that's why i say that's why that last point i just made it's probably their emotions it that's is the biggest issue 
as opposed to the person going through the rebrand. Definitely. I got a couple more things on this. This is good, man. Then we're going we're gonna, to um, take a break. But, um... What what the fuck is this crazy shit? <laughs> what <laughs> qualities do you think you need to shit. be able to follow through with a rebranding process, or do you think literally anyone can do it? Well, no, not anybody can do it. It's definitely on the mindset. Like I'll take that consistency. You have to. Everybody ain't thinking like that because you gotta have workers and bosses. Some niggas just don't have that mental, but some people do, and that's what separates my field. Shit, but. I, I understand it. I think I think one of the things you gotta have is you you have to be able to be real with yourself and be and, and humble yourself to a point of understanding when it's necessary. Because sometimes rebranding comes from realizing that something didn't work. Right. You feeling, know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you gotta be okay with understanding that you gotta take a step back to take take some steps forward sometime. Right. And you get some people that get so wrapped up into being like Oh man, I gotta prove something, or you know, like like they, they they their pride getting involved, and it's like your pride is stopping you from actually becoming successful. If you see it, scratch it, take a step back, and move forward. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's the most important thing is recognizing it and being able to be honest with yourself and with your work to say, hey, this didn't go according to what I planned. Like what you said about how with the podcast, look at the development. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? What if you would have just sit up and be like, no, nah, man, I'm going to make this work the way it is, as is. You'd probably still be in a whole nother different situation. Yeah. 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 Um, I think I think on that level, I think I think everybody, because I'm on some, man, I'm on some other shit, man, nowadays, man. I feel like it's, it's within all of us to actually be able to do what we need to do to elevate, but it's not within everyone to actualize it of course so so it's in us all but it, it not everyone ha just has the ability everybody can not activate it activate that yeah. that you know what i'm saying that's not everybody's party. passion but i feel like also everybody that, has that one goes to don't, it gotta, goes to the balance yeah you got to be able to everyone can't be on this side and everyone can't be on this side so well, some people is going to reach that level of activation and some people are not it is the balance it's unfortunate but it's I feel like that is how I feel like part of it is because out. I feel like part of the reason why some levels of success are not reached is because it's not for everybody. Right. And 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 part of it not being for everybody is because some, got up, some people got workers. Some people yeah. Got people. yeah. And, and everybody can't like like as good as it sounds to be a business owner. Everybody can't be a business owner. Everybody can't right. as 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 good as it sounds to be um, be famous. They Everybody the can't handle fame. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You 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 can't handle like like some people are in the positions that they're in because that's where they're supposed to be. Q, what was your thought? You said I, I feel like you was, was about, about to, to say something. Was about to say something. He was about to. I was about to say um oh what would you give to get it? To mm. get to, to get what? Well, what the success? Where, where, where yeah. We're um, yeah. 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 So what would you give amazing. to yeah, get it? That, that yeah. is. Yeah. That is. And a lot of people are not willing to. You get, get out what you put in. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yep. That's a good it's point. It's like skipping the process. You thinking? Yeah. It's that. It's that microwave society. People. It's the if it's not instant, then people don't really want to spend right. the time to wait. And there's no patience. You don't need it's to get a the story behind yeah. it, right? That whole story behind Man, it. The shit. Ooh, our whole through. our whole society. We groom our kids to lack patience as well. Everything is instant, right? Everything now. is. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you, you, there's no patience that's being taught. But you know what? Know. One last thing I want to get to because this popped up when we was talking about the emotion part of the rebranding. Mm -hmm. There was one rebranding phase that I go back to over and over because it was so important in my life and it still is and I'm still um, learning more about that part of my life too which is coming out of religion. That's rebranding. Mm -hmm. And that's rebranding on a deep fundamental moral level like you base everything about yourself usually if you're raised off religion you base everything about your life structure who you are everything off of your religious belief so when you come out of that the process of rebranding when coming out of religion is probably some of the hardest work i've ever done in my life mm, to be perfectly honest with that's you interesting it's extremely difficult and i'm in, i'm still in the process of i'm i'm still actively in that process I'm still I, I, learning I more and more every day. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
there's a lot of emotions involved in that too, at least for me, because when you, you know what I'm saying, you when you grow up in a situation and everybody around you is of that and nobody's nobody else has gone through that process of rebranding themselves out of yeah. that. It's like, damn, who the fuck do I talk well, that's to major too, as though. I go through what, this process? What age is this? But that's major, though, that religion, though. Like, it's like, it's like, major. It doesn't matter major, what age it is. Though. It doesn't matter. That's major, though. Try but, to... Yeah, when you... Because when you, that right there is... Um, that's like bread in this life, nigga. That's like in our blood. Yeah. For real. Yeah, he asks what age that is. It could be any age. It, it doesn't matter what age yeah. it is. Yeah, but it dep yeah. also depends on how heavy it was as an influence Definitely in your life how before. heavy it is. If it wasn't that heavy of an influence What caused before, it? Then it's not going to be a major process. It's going to be just you doing something different. Yeah. It's not going to be a, a, a rebrand. That's what you grew up to. That's all. Yeah. That's what you know. That's what. When you base your everything you about your that? life about that, and then you go somewhere different, man, that shit is difficult. Everybody this remember them it. church days, falling yeah. asleep in church. The shit got your grandmother in that big ass hat. Stop playing, <laughs> man. So imagine how talking about the grandmother in the big real. ass hat. My grandma, what's that? Rest in peace, man. My grandma was hey, you on know them hats. Shit. Them hats. Be she bad. Her hat, you could man stop it. My mom and, had a lot of hats too. And would catch your ass sleep though, for real, with that big ass hat. Don't get it twisted, nigga. <laughs> you face sleeping through that shit. That's a whole cultural sure thing. Oh, Damn. Oh shit. Oh. Um, Another a whole one? cultural thing. Yeah, yeah it's But that, that was just yeah. I just wanted to um I just wanted to throw that out there. Anybody that's going through rebranding, stay focused, do a lot of them other stay consistent, all them other uh major keywords that we threw in there. Yeah, definitely. And uh we gonna go to a commercial break. We'll be back with more of the J Mass show. HOF. A lot of people they get it wrong, so I'm just gonna let you know what HOF really stands for. It's height of fame. We want everybody that we come in contact with to reach their own personal success. It's not about what the world says, it's not about what your friends say, it's not about what the next person do in the gym. It's all about your goals. No matter if it's sports, weight loss, muscle gain, whatever the case is, that's what we try to reach, your own height of fame. You know, my whole thing was always trying to reach out to kids, to youth, to help them understand that their fame is what they're chasing, nobody else's. And then I started thinking about the adults. And I'm like, you know what? This ain't gotta just be for kids. Some adults need that same training, that same mentality to know that when it gets tough, don't stop. Keep pushing through it. We gotta bring that back. Only niggas around me is niggas I know got my back. I used to just react and never would I read and I read. Everything that I do is life lessons. You might think that we come in here to train, but at the same time, I'm trying to get these kids, I'm trying to get my adults, I'm trying to get my peers life lessons. Last week, I had a client, he broke his ankle, his food, jumping over trash cans. I guess he took his training a little too far. But when he got to the hospital, first thing that he asked his grandma, his coach is coming to see him. It hit, you know, that, that shows impact. That's the main thing I'm looking for, is that I'm being impactful. If I'm not impacting their life in a positive way, there's no point in me doing this. It's not about the money, it's not about the fame. All it's about is results and impacting somebody else in a positive way. We always trying to build. Build, build, build to the next opportunity to be great. Height of fame strong, baby. Welcome to the J Matt Show, home of the flagship show, the J Matt Show podcast, and more importantly, a place dedicated to inspiring everyone to be relentless and fearless in the pursuit of your dreams. <laughs> You know what? If I kill somebody, I gotta go to jail. You gotta go to jail too. What, what is that? <laughs> Here at the J Mass Show, it's not all about fun and games. But who am I kidding? Laughing is definitely my therapy. Don't nobody eat soup for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hearty soup. It's got potatoes and vegetables in there. Bad slave food. That's to lick his ass. Rub his nose. Oh! Pinch his nipples. Look at her. Hey, hey. I was going to tell her to suck me off. <laughs> <laughs> 
Tune in weekly, if not daily, for your j Mad Show fix. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Remember, life is good and God is great. Oh man, well, that's shit. All hey, listen, got, listen. But you do got I just want to tell my wife that this was something we came up with during the break that we just came on. We oh, said it was going. Bit? We doing a bit. We, we, yeah, we, we made this shit right. up. This is a joke. This is comedic God. humor. God damn it, smoke. And with that being said, welcome back uh, to the J Mad Show. <laughs> asked if we was okay. Second half of the show, y'all know how we doing, man. These guys are crazy. Good crazy. old memories I got with this guy, man. Yeah, man. man. A lot of. Them. Maybe we should call this episode Tongue Rick. <laughs> hey, you should. I'm not hey, gonna lie, you should. Hey, let me see you your should tongue ring. call it that. Let no. me see your tongue ring. Yeah. <laughs> Jay, 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 for what's real. What's Jay, no, for real. Hey, look. I, I really can see that shit in my head, though. Like, I not see it coming out. I see it in my car, man, with you on the pad. You won't even drive, I'm telling you. <laughs> Well, I had oh. never seen second one. <laughs> Give it, take it right there. It's <laughs> happening everywhere. Oh, it's happening. Hey, you know what? Fuck this carpet. I'm about to. You yeah. gotta get it cleaned. Yeah. That's what carpet's for, though. He so. might have to rebrand the goddamn carpet. You're right. <laughs> rebrand the floor. Yeah. Carpet rebrand. Right. 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 It's gonna be hardwood. For real. For real. Uh, damn, what the fuck was that? They threw you off. No, hey, 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 as you can see, this this is the part of the show. <laughs> you want you want to explain? They want to explain where we going? They know. I feel like uh, I feel like real quick. Um, what made you guys, was there an influence that you had on your life to get the tongue ring? Because I've never man, seen any shit. man with a tongue ring at that oh, point. Oh man, that's some at, freak shit. At the time, some it, freak it, 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 it was definitely, man, man, that was definitely a time in my life where I was, I was really on some ladies man type shit. Really? And, and I got, I got the approval of uh, dumb shit, young, I think I was about like 20, somewhere around there. I did that stupid. No inspiration, y'all yeah. came up. It was a beast. Man, for man, that when shit. I tell, but I tell you, I'm gonna tell you. And you I'm, see, I said y'all because it was a couple of these niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no. It, it, right. By it seemed like a good idea, but like now, this just seemed real freaky. Like on a different kind of freaky, where it's like. That's how I look. Hey man, I see how the fuck you looking over here, man. You too. Nobody's uh, judge. Hey, hey. give a fuck. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Nigga, you was young as hell. Hey, sure. Marlon, his, like, eye, his eyebrows is up here like that. Marlon, like, I didn't know you was doing shit like that. Hey, hey. We were all doing shit. He was but then, but then, but then, but then, you don't think about it. You all you thinking about is what you getting from it, but you're not thinking about the thoughts of some others. And I, I can imagine now how many people is looking like. <laughs> <laughs> what type of gay shit is this? Like no disrespect to the to the, to the LGBTQ nah. plus community. Yeah, that's no, no, it's now. But, but, but yeah, it's now. No, that's but, but, it's yeah. now. Then it's like no, these niggas is some coochie eating ass niggas, man. They got that's that what shit. that's what the thing automatically. That's, that's what like, that's what the thought no. was. Now I'd be like, you yeah, man. Like, well, let me ask you guys a question just to get totally all the tongue rings. Um, what do you guys think about K Michelle new face? <laughs> That's a pretty face. I just don't know whose it is. <laughs> it, don't, it ain't hers. I feel like this. And she, got her, she took the buns out too. I feel like she, she hates herself. her face. She definitely do. It's she a did lot that going too. On. She took them buns out. That's because she was having medical problems. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Her, I'm just, I'm her just fake ass was gonna kill her. But I feel yeah, like, this, but she did that a while ago though, didn't she? But she had, right, but she still had to get them taken out though. Is the point though? But here's what, here's what I'm saying. I feel like this bitch hates yeah. herself. Hey, she I just do. I literally just told my wife she this. Do uh, like she do. Hell ago, yeah, we she looked looking different. At her, we looking at her pictures, and she I was like, man, I was like, that's concerned, and I'm like, she don't love herself because because she wasn't bad looking to me. I'm like, you look she, like a she whole, had a, she looked totally she had a fat person. ass too. I was like, damn, that ass was it was no, fake. Her ass it was, was never her fake. ass was never nice. I mean, she was, let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest. K Michelle never had a nice body. She never had a nice body. That's her ass debatable. always that's looked debatable. terrible because she had one of them that's cheap debatable. ass jobs when they was first doing ass jobs. She got the cheapest one she could find. Well, I don't know what they cost, but I'm gonna tell you know. like this: I didn't think I've I didn't. Seen I, worse thought she, asses, I thought she was cute, but uh, I'm saying, and I, and what's crazy is that what she's done to herself, she still look good. She just don't look like her. That's where it's, I don't where get it's it. fucked up because it's like this is a different person. You might she might as well change her name. Is she rebranded? That's what she. She might she might change her name. But she's going through the rebranding re that is detrimental, in my opinion. That's that rebranding that screams you need therapy. That's that rebranding that Michael Jackson was going through. That's that rebranding that uh, that little Kim was going through. Ooh, like yeah, yeah. it's that scary yeah. shit where it's like, oh, you yeah. don't like yourself. Like, hey, listen, you don't like yourself. That tongue ring was a rebrand. <laughs> 
<laughs> it definitely was. That's a rebrand. It I'm definitely like, was. Need a new way to get some that coochie. Nigga, like I'm about Let's to stack my there. shit up. I'm about to take this up by two, three notches with this one. That nigga so that doing a new way to get some coochie. Yeah, it's a total goddamn rebrand. Let's get it. You took it up a notch or two or three. Once it got there from Tun Ring came out, nigga, we good. Roster set. That nigga was watching Shark Week one one time. Was like. Type of lures they use to get these goddamn sharks. <laughs> that is funny, man. <laughs> Let's go. Boy, it's funny, man. <laughs> hey, that story he said that's so bad. I'm gonna tell I'm you. Talk about I wish I remembered that because well, that shit care. sound funny to me. I don't know who was with me. I feel like it was probably shit. Ain't no telling who was with me. We was like by heights. I don't know. Like Sonny was with me and that was Hakeem. But that was a while ago though. Let's talk about. Uh, I, would, I feel like I don't remember you know, that. Uh, you would, because yeah, everybody got a memory of somebody that you're not gonna remember. Because yeah. I, I, I've heard memories of shit with me, and I'm like, for real? Uh, like yeah, man. Something that it just happens. I'm just saying. Trust me. Did y'all <laughs> did y'all watch? Because uh, we talked about this. Did y'all watch? Soldier Boy versus Bow Wow. We talked about I this. I did not. I'm not gonna lie. I did, yeah, I did not. Nobody watched it. I did not. Okay. That's I cool. didn't. I heard a few things. I, I definitely see, I heard. Seen, I seen some. I seen seen. some highlights. But no, I didn't watch it. The soldier cracked his head. Come on, ass man. Out. He brought I'm out some uh, damn Soldier Boy versus Bow Wow. Pass it on <coughs> That nigga brought out uh, it was Romeo. All gr everyone's grown. <laughs> yeah, I'm grown. I, I can't watch that battle. They're grown. What type of grown are we talking about here? Soldier Boy Everybody your elder, so what you talking about? Grown my they opinion, and neither one of them niggas grown the grown that I need them to be to watch versus. Yeah, right. like they they more so a different type of mentally grown. They, you don't know these niggas. But you can just tell. They, wait a minute, wait, when you say when you say grown a, a different type of mentally grown, tell me, tell me what you what your thoughts are on Soldier Boy. He just a, <laughs> he's not hmm. a bitch. No, how about I say something different? Um he just a nigga that acts out for attention. And okay, okay. it's very weird, especially that you're almost 30 or at least 30. And it's like, bro, you should be doing something different by now. Or at least figuring out something different. Well, Fair enough. What about Bow Wow? Yeah. yeah. My nigga fucked this shit up a long time ago. So, you know. Man, nah, nigga. Stop playing. What, what, what'd he fuck up? I don't know Nothing. if Q is... I don't think Q I mean, is the nigga... Like, right. he's the... Well, I think I think here. Since he spoke up, if I wanted I'm to hear correct. his thoughts. You know? And what is you... You said he what? You, what are you if talking? I'm incorrect. Well, it's your own personal opinion. Yeah, you it's really... Your, yeah, it ain't about you being incorrect. That's how I you mean, feel. That's how you feel. Bro. I mean, he still got money. Yeah, but... Like, he's still trying to hold on to his fame. It's like, bro, just... Hold on to nah, I, I disagree with right. both yeah, these niggas takes right, right here. here. It's First only one niggas take. What yeah. No. <laughs> I said, but he had two. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, oh, all right, one right. was Soldier Boy, one was Bow Wow. So, first off, when it comes to Soldier Boy, I definitely believe that he, all of that acting out is his marketing strategy. This guy is a hustler right. to the T. He don't do nothing that's not calculated that's going to bring him money. That's my interpretation of what he does. This boy gets paid. That's he true. does. In every decade. And he actually that's still true. makes music. That's true. Bruh, we just don't, even, newest, we just don't be realizing this him. The newest hit? Are you serious? This nigga made What's that, that clap song? Oh, is my it? God. Yeah. Oh, banger. They're doing TikToks today. Banger. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. He knows Mark what he's doing. Charging. And when it comes to, to Bow Wow... Hold on to his fame. He's little Bow Wow. He will be famous till the day he dies. Yeah. He does a grown man. No, but he doesn't have what's to. Disrespect? You can call the nigga yeah, Shad if you want to. Worthy. Bow Wow. What's, what's disrespectful? He's not a what's disrespectful? I think I think, I think. I think. I think. He doesn't made. call himself little Bow. He's Shad. Right. No. But he still was little Bow Wow. You can't take little Bow Wow from him though. That's still that's his rap little Bow Wow. He, he said he's he just Bow Wow. Right. He like his time is over with. That's what it is. I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about. It should have been a change. I'm just saying. I, I think. I think. I, I think. Bow Wow just probably didn't necessarily go through the. Think about this. Okay, he so look at this. No more, look at, uh, that's what I'm saying. One, one thing that Bow Wow said that I saw a highlight from the verses where he talked about got, how I didn't, and I didn't even notice because I ain't seen him in the trailer. But is he in the new Fast Nine? Yeah. Yeah. So that like like look at something like that. Did, did you catch that part? No. Did you know he was in the new Fast uh, Fast and Furious Nine? It don't even matter. Those moves aren't good anymore. So Wayne, you're you ain't been here before. You're engaging this guy way too much. He's okay. behind the camera. <laughs> My apologies. And he's a troll. 
And it makes sense. Because he'll do that. So, yeah. He'll have I you like questioning a lot of shit. For like, this. for real. <laughs> He but will this have you question a lot of shit. Dude, he shut will, the fuck up. He told me earlier I was being Q, nice. No, That's shut your the fuck ass now, Q. You on some bullshit, nigga. Q is trolling. Yeah, I know. You trolling like a motherfucker, Okay, okay, okay. I got something for your ass for that. You done took me on course. All right. Yeah, no. So, so you did. So nobody's seen Soldier Boy versus Bow Wow. I'm the only one that watched it. It was entertaining. I wish I would have had some. In my opinion, Bow Wow won. He should have. Based on the the, the he song. He should have. And that's but what it's Soulja about. Boy, he should have won. What about my showmanship? Bow Wow has Soulja Boy a lot of show. hits. <laughs> Soldier Boy took the show. Plus, he didn't play enough of his songs. And he brought out Romeo. He was more so trying to promote <laughs> the new yeah. shit. He was trying to promote the Make It Clap shit, which is smart. The boy is smart. Smart. Yeah. The boy is smart. But did y'all watch the BT Awards? Who watched that? Fuck no. I, heard I didn't it. watch it either, so we can't put no commentary on none of the shit that the can. people want to hear. I saw, I saw, I I seen some highlights. Shit, what, what you talking about? Like, I ain't seen the no highlights of that shit outside of Queen Latifah. I did. I, I watched the uh, tribute. The DMA I, I tribute, tribute, tribute I heard Queen it was Latifah. crazy. I seen a couple of highlights and shit from that. Right. I seen old boy do the, 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 the sweet shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, oh, you seen him kiss the boys? No, yeah, I heard Ooh. about it. Lil Nas X, he kissed some boys on the stage. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Man, I saw a, a fucking tweet today that I think it was the Shade Room post that said, says, it, where this nigga says something about, why y'all so mad at me? All I'm trying to do is be a bad bitch. I'm like, man. <laughs> that's I said, that's was that a real right. quote? No, this, this, this was no like, that's uh, about the right. The Shade Room re no. uh, uh, reposted Look, his actual tweet. No, that's and I'm about like, right. But, but here, here's... And did he? Hey, did he back say, him up? Hey, like, go ahead. Hey, I'm a, I'm see how that nigga had to pause his cell. Like, hold listen, on. Listen. Oh, this, 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 hey, look. So, so look. I'm I looking at the post. I'm looking at the post, and I'm like, okay, you know what? With a post like this, I'm like, I gotta see the comments. I go to the comments, and all I see is women. All I see is women in there, like, period. I'm like, man, what the fuck is going on here? So here's what here's what throws me off, man. And I'm and I'm saying it for all the women out there that that. That want to be the ones that, in one sense, you want to embrace stuff like this, where uh, a, a man talking about he wanting to be a bad bitch. Y'all glorify this type of stuff, but y'all be the same ones to turn around and be talking about the way that men are raised. Y'all be the same ones to be talking about the way that women treat y'all and all this stuff and, and how it ain't no good men out here and all these different types. Y'all embrace Listen. the ones that want to be like y'all, but then y'all don't understand, but then y'all want to dog the ones that don't treat y'all right. All of this is in con... I'm, but does he I, identify... I, I, but does he oh, identify... He being so nice, y'all. As a man? Who that was worded does so Lil well. Does Lil Nas X identify as a man? I don't know what he identify he as. Does. I'm just, I'm just going. He does. He, man, I, I, nigga, no, he's I, a man. No, no, I, no. But now, but we live in the age of identity. Come on, no, 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 no. Because he, like that. Cause, 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 cause he's studying. He's studying. <clears throat> he does. He does by the restrictions of what a man is. But if we're talking about what a I don't even want to say that. The restrictions ah, of you can't say that. Yeah, I can't say you that. You can't even lot to say oh that. Oh my God. Yeah. Will y'all stop? Is this a J-Man show? Podcast, is man. this what a J-Man show? What the fuck did you say? But, I, but we're, we're, we're man, pointing see, out. That's that nice ass shit I be talking about, man. We're pointing out the part of the political correct, correctness. Fuck that. What was the fuck? Because you'll get canceled like a motherfucker. Man, you going to get canceled from the game. No, you can't. In some areas, what he's saying is you... Just by saying real man is exclusive or is that kind of like... I don't give a fuck about that, though. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that. That's the problem. It You're just, supposed to be able to say real man. Hey, listen, 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 listen. What my, my comments ain't got nothing to do with a person's sexuality. My, part, my comment got to do with the things that women glorify but then turn around on the flip side and complain about. It's like, do you want a man to be a man, or do you want a man to be? You know, it's like, that's what do you, what are you, what do you, re, what do you really want to see men raised to become? That's you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Like, y'all glorify stuff that does not match up with the type of men that it is that you want to be associated with, or, or in relationships with, and stuff like that. It like, 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 it's so many moving it's pieces more to so that. Like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm it's, it's definitely go. girl. A lot of girls definitely embrace that, but they a lot of, a lot of them I feel like young girls. They embrace what though? The 
the gay shit, like him, him, him being a bad him, bitch. Him, then him, you say he said oh, he was a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he went to comment section and said that it was like well, home, so many women. Well, let's let's, it. let's be honest. Women, black women especially, love gay men. Mm. They love gay men. It's true. Let's we we yeah. know this. Like yeah. they are, and, and will come for you if you have something to say about a gay. Well, as far as black like, friendships and being and kicking it with them and and being entertained by gay men, they love big. They Is love it. it. Damn. Well, I mean, I guess they do. I'm not gonna. Hey, I'm they not do. disagreeing. I just feel like shit. They all love them motherfuckers. So then, what? What is that about? Why do? Why do? What's the infatuation with a man acting like a woman? Like, because what is that about? Why are women? Why do women like that so that's much? That's kind of obvious, like, almost. Oh, I'll even let you, you go ahead. Oh, you you said for me. I don't know. Cause Cause we might have some different that. things. Say it. What's obvious about that? I'll say it when I'm done. And we'll see. Somebody said. Well, I was just about to Shit, say. I'm about to say. I want to hear the answer. This it almost I to hear me say, right? seems like it's the the thing you want the most. You got a man next to you, but it's just a woman. That, it's just as simple as that. Cause that's how I be seeing it. Huh? Like, they, you dudes. mean that just on some friendship shit? Yeah. They got a you got a man next to you, but it's the emotions of a woman. Yeah. I think it's just weird. I'm gonna run with this. I, I don't, don't even understand. wanna. I don't, I don't, I don't think there's any way I can understand it. That's how yeah. it is. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I like I don't I don't I, I get it, man. Like who you want to like, it is what it is. But at the no, same time, no, we just talking time, about friendships. Just, yeah, yeah. But even with the friendships or whatever, it's just like you got girlfriends for that. Like, why is it this high embracement for being able to say I got this gay friend? You know, and I'm not saying that you can't have a. You know what? Because it's forced. It's it's. Everybody, it's I, I ain't even gonna say norm. it. I ain't gonna say it's four I mean, yeah, because, because they, they norm. Because I, because because I don't want to make it seem like just they because they normalize they, they, it. Those, you said something important. What you say? You don't want to fuck. You don't want to fuck. It you is like, you don't want to fuck. Like that's the most thing I will be getting from girls all the time. So they can like, kick it, laugh, joke. Yeah, like you know some. Bullshit. She ain't got a. She can. She can. She can. Friends don't even right He don't even want to smash. Yeah. They dress up, make go shopping together, do makeup, wear heels. Yeah. And he don't want to fuck her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the... Oh, shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's about to say that's the gayest shit ever. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> this, you got, wait, clearly. You got afraid to say it? He's afraid to say this thing. Ever. That's what we're talking about. Oh, the gayest God. shit ever. <laughs> so fucking What are we talking about? Maybe we change the subject, man. What the fuck? How we always end up talking about this shit? We was talking about soft ass soldier nigga. boys. Nigga. Oh, we was talking about BET Awards. Okay. Because it was gay shit on there. Yeah, that nigga, and he kissed multiple niggas. I heard too, man. That's so fucking gay, man. What the fuck? Why your kids? Imagine your kids watching this shit. Cause these kids be following these artists that they're that's on there. Somebody said it. Dude, that's not also. good, man. Like y'all, because but the BT Awards is not a family show. Well, well part, part, that, part, part, part of the thing is too. You got a family. You got you got you got to understand this too. It's definitely. Um, a family show. It, it's got to. It was a point in time where. The type of stuff that it is that they showing on TV was frowned upon. Les being lesbian, being gay, and everything like that. But now, since everybody is in support of it, do y'all notice that a lot of TV shows are starting to show a whole lot more like? Don't do that. Don't ask that obvious look, question. Look, wait, 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 no. But the whole You're point about of to trigger the, him. The, the, the point of what I'm He's saying. About to get triggered. The point of what I'm saying is that I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you, you something by the man. And I'm gonna I'm say. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna put it out there for what it is. It's so crazy to me that. Did, did y'all see the new NFL say commercial? Say it, say it, wait, wait, please, please say, say it. it. I just want somebody spit it out, to nigga. So piggyback it. Say it. You talking about the the the, the, the NFL? Man, speak on that nigga big game, man. Hey, man, listen, 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 listen. Spit it out. What I'm trying to say. 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 They just, they just, they just released the NFL commercial. Where they talking about the NFL is gay, the NFL is lesbian, oh, the NFL is this, the NFL yeah, is that, yeah, or whatever, yeah. and they just had they a whole other problem. And then at the end, they show the NFL logo with the rainbow in it. Who cup is this? Nobody. That's the one that was just ice. ice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, and I look, and, and, and every time, and, and as I watch this, it made me think about how when Colin Kaepernick kneeled. <laughs> and, 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 and but as a whole, my whole point of this is that it's crazy how there's been more of a support of the say the letters LGBTQ plus. That's crazy. It, it, it's been more of a it seemed like it's been more of a support for that community than it has been 
for Black Lives Matter, then for oh, it's been so for so black nicely. people losing their lives. Look, look, look. This is what it is. What happened? They talking some shit. These things fucked up. You keep going. You keep going. Yo, you keep going. You the deal, you man. Going. No, he, he finna go in. He no, finna no, go in. Man, no, 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 no. But, but no, he heard me. But I'm, a, but I'm waiting yeah, ready to say. Go he ready to. No, no. That's, that's my issue saying. or whatever. When there's so much support there, and I'm not saying that there shouldn't be support there, but no, you're right. man, come on. Like man, when I enter, I'm, enter now, enter. Let's go. Let's enter. go. Come on, man. I'm gonna keep it so simple. I'm being so simple. We want the smoke. Come all on, the man. smoke. All you the smoke. You know that shit is a goddamn movement, man. Everybody playing that shit for a reason. Capitalism. That's all it is. This what what do to you brought up that NFL dude. I didn't bring up the dude, I brought up the commercial. Okay, you did, but we spoke about him. Let me say that then. We spoke about the uh Anybody wanna mention his name? I don't no. even know his name because he was nobody. No. They didn't even know why they know. Carl Nassar. Carl Nassar. Okay, okay. <laughs> say that. Well, niggas, stop on okay. <laughs> phone to look it up, but Call even if you didn't look it up, you didn't know who he was. He came out. He was a I, I take that. LeBron. Not too many people knew who he was. I'll give you that. But he did that and and said, I'm just doing it. Just Nobody told me to do it. I just felt like doing it and letting you guys know I'm gay. He's like, okay, why? And two days later, this nigga has the number one selling jersey. Oh, you got the number one selling jersey? Yeah. And then the NFL and makes a commercial later, with a dog on. Two days later, he came out. This is still Pride. Oh, this is still smart. Pride Month. That's smart. This is Pride Month. So, the, I'm going back I ain't to mad at him. No, no. I'm still, don't get off topic. I'm Take only saying, advantage, man. I'm Take only advantage. saying is that it's a money thing. Like, when you do that, you have them supporting you. You have their financial backing. Absolutely. You don't want to go against their finances. If you get, they cancel you and they ain't fucking with you. Oh, you before you, you losing, go, bro. Before you go, the so LGBTQ plus community is the biggest political party in America right now. Makes wow. sense. Wow. And you it's think than people are not going to support it because you, you have to have that backing. You have they, to. They cross all all. People, they, they encourage you to identify with that community before you do your race. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Black folks. And that's the problem. It's going after. have so much power. Somebody, but somebody so kneels because, we got, because somebody got killed. Wait a second, man. Wait a second. They're, I, they're try, wait a second, man. Think about this. <laughs> they're willing. To, wait a second. Well, don't call me off, sir. Mr. Behind the, behind the camera. They are trying to get you to identify with no, your sexuality, with who you enjoy sexually, mm -hmm. before you your nationality, where you're from, your race, your heritage, your ancestry, they want you to identify with who you choose to yeah. have sex. Talk, this is all that's about. Thing. This Definitely. is all that's about. Like, I promise like, you. That's that's all should be said. So that party is always going to be bigger than. They trying to merge all this shit as to in, into one basically group think. Oh, I'll tell you. Everybody that. think the same way. Yeah, sis. Like we're all cis men. What happened? But keep going. Uh, uh, did you say assist? He gets no, on my sis. Nerves. Sis. Like, what is that? C I S. All right. What is that? It means that oh, we all God. know that we're men. We selected our gender. What is that? Is that an acronym? What is the? What no, it's just it's just what we're supposed. Because when to I hear cis, that now. when I hear cis, that's yeah. normally I'm what cis they call. Yeah, like cis man. That's See, six cis. Why are you doing? What this? does cis mean? Why are you doing that's this? what I'm telling you. That's what I mean. Cis man. You've chosen your gender. So like you've chosen your gender as a man. So is, is there another so you, man? So, uh, so you just... See, y'all... Wait a second, hold on. This is some new I know, shit. No, I'm not telling you whatever. I'm, I'm just saying, saying what he's saying. saying. So you schooling can, you. So you can, shit right now. So you can make up That's a word? That's what I'm saying. Yes. They so do. this word is cis. How do you spell it? C-I-S-G-N-D-E-R. Cisgender. <clears throat> so, and cis man, cis woman. This is real. So what does that mean? It means you've chosen your gender. So you have chosen your gender as a man. Okay, I just looked it up, the definition dictionary. What it means is that you acknowledge your sense, you your of identity with your what you were born as. Shit. So basically, we was born as men, so we recognize that we men. See, duh, I don't, bitch. Duh, I'm shit. not claiming. I'm they not, came up duh. with a word for that. I'm, I'm not claiming. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. So, 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 being, so, being, being born a man 
ain't enough no more. They had no. to come up with a no. new word to no. say that you have claimed yeah. that you're actually what you yeah. were born as. Can yeah. they get the fuck out of nice. here, man? Don't do that. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm not on that. We're not doing that. Man, we're changing the subject. I don't wow. like I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going at all. Alright, see? That's why y'all see I don't y'all thought y'all was gonna get me. See no. what thought, listen. It's him. Mm-mm. It's Q for. That's why I bring this it out. Introducing bring that uh, shit out. LGBTQ plus terminology to the show. I don't give a fuck. We're not fucking with no cis anything. Don't you ever say sis on the J Mesh show. And I say us sis. <laughs> Who <laughs> hey, am I, sis? Sis, us, sis, nigga. That was a dope assist that nigga told us. Like, six nigga. man? Like, yeah, he said six man. I'm like, <laughs> don't you ever say sis again on this shit? And I thought he talked about sis like you are they called each other sis. Hey, six. Like, that shit is banned from the show, nigga. We're not ever doing that shit again. <laughs> The fuck, fuck that, that word. Shit. Oh my six god. Six championship. What? What? Six. Fuck that word. Six. <laughs> We're not doing hey. that. Cause I was done. Shout don't you ever bring no more that shit? Shout out to Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. Vocabulary <laughs> back to the show <laughs> ever again. <laughs> Shout out to Bill. Got wrong cup. Hey. So, uh, what was next on my fucking shit? Since we talking about some crazy shit. Oh my god. How about we talk about? And I don't want to recap uh, a little bit of last That's week, which was good. a little bit of conversation at Juneteenth. But some crazy shit though. How y'all feel about IKEA? Oh, that menu. Oh, IKEA on Juneteenth. The celebration of Juneteenth, IKEA decides to serve fried chicken and watermelon. Huh. I heard that menu. Did you have to um, cook it yourself? No. No, this nigga said cook it. It was no. the best fried chicken in town. That's no, that was a menu that they had there. They, that's what they were feeding their employees, I, I feel yeah, like. Yeah. Fried employees. chicken and, and watermelon. Fried chicken, watermelon, ten- co- collard greens. Mag- it was it was a whole list of shit. It, it, they, yeah. So is, ca- is Ikea canceled? <laughs> is Ikea canceled? Hell no. Nah. Nobody, nobody canceled about, Ikea? No. So. No. It's Niggas Ikea. Love Ikea. It's Ikea. Mm-hmm. So wait a minute. So so here's my... It, I, I got the same issue with that as I had with the whole... Uh, H and M when they had the I little boy in the uh in the monkey shirt. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like they knew so that so 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 that. here's my thing. I don't give a damn who you got in your marketing department or who came up with the idea. Somebody had to know that this was a bad idea, and y'all moved forward with it anyway or whatever because y'all was some fucking smart ass. <laughs> like, that, 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 was like, somebody was an asshole. Was a <laughs> like, it was a few I don't. I, I, no, this was not a mistake. <laughs> It somebody thought this person. shit was somebody thought this shit was funny. That was somebody tried to get a ride. Niggas thought that shit no, was that wasn't somebody one thought person. That, yeah. that was a couple people like, you know what? No, you're right. No, this actually do look good. But then but then on top of all of that, it, 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 it was it was a nigga in there that was like Shit, I like fried chicken and watermelon. Go ahead, serve that shit. It was a, I, it I, was I, white I, people in there talking man, about. Oh, we love fried man, chicken. Man, listen, but they had it wasn't. But no, no, it was definitely it was definitely a nigga in there. They that had mac and cheese. They had a bunch like, of other shit. It was a nigga in there like oh the mate. They had a bunch of shit like I didn't see no. We like we like fried chicken and watermelon. It wasn't gonna say nothing because he was scared. Hold on, wait. Did they have peach cobbler? That's dessert. Did they have peach cobbler? It was a problem. So they had a whole menu though. They had a whole, menu, they had a whole <laughs> menu. They had right. They had yams. They had collard greens. They had so they 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 did a sauce and then put watermelon on the side. And had yeah, a whole menu. With me, man. You gotta have no, listen, a whole vegetables. menu. You what the vegetables? The collards. <laughs> what else? The collards is the vegetable. They had the collards. You got your protein. You got the vegetables. So we had. You so got we got fried fruit. chicken. Oh. We got. We got great. Fried chicken, watermelon. You got your dairy. Collard greens. Collard greens. Collard greens. What was the dairy? Yeah. The ice cream. What the fuck? Was the peach cobbler? The peach cobbler. Oh, the peach cobbler. 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 The more, the what more, and more, the about, more, and more right. they start running down the menu. Nutrition. I like the menu, but this is fucked up. It is though. It's fucked up. Nutritious. It and balanced. What they, what you know, was even what make it uh, really bad, for real, is the watermelon. Listen, you could have had a fruit 
Salad hot has some other for some grapes. Do some throw some grapes in that bitch. You can't do that. Wedges. Right. Or at least got straight up watermelon. <laughs> throw some ass some some you had oranges. To eat it with your hand. An apple. Nigga, something. You, you threw all no watermelon. Wait, now they gonna no, throw wait, grape no. soda in. Can here. you imagine something is what I'm saying? Like y'all tripping with that shit. That group of employees that's huddled over in the corner. I would have ate that shit though. I ain't gonna lie if I was an employee. With some watermelon in their hand. Y'all know some racist ass shit. I would have fucked around and snapped that shit like Look at my racist ass oh, employer. So, so the question, oh, so, so the question is, did the did the black people eat it? I would have. <laughs> I would just tell this nigga. I would have snapped that shit. Like, look at these niggas. Look at this racist ass shit. This fried chicken and shit and this watermelon that looks so fresh and this goddamn macaroni that look white and this damn collard greens that I don't know who they made who made it. I mean, like Man. I would have snapped that shit and I would have still ate though. You know, one you, are, you an employee? I'm going home. You an employee? I'm going home. Nigga, you work for I'm IKEA home. though. Like, what are not, you? Not that day. No, you a, not you that work day. for IKEA. Not that day. I'm going home and I'm calling and I'm calling HR. Hey, so you brought a lunch that day. HR. You brought a lunch that day. You got your sandwich and chips. I'm going. I'm going home. I'm going home I'm going to eat my sandwich and Man, man, let me tell you, I'm sitting there with an attitude. HR approved. I'm sitting there, HR approved. Man, listen, I'm going to the EEOC. You can't have that I'm going to the EEOC. HR approving that. Are you crazy? HR was You an employee. Yeah, you just imagine yeah, you if you ain't bring no can. lunch that day. Man, listen, I done had all kind of shit done. What if you ain't had no lunch no, that day? Right. I'm going down the street, man. Wait, oh, man, come on. All the tickets for the store manager. I would eat this shit, too. All, all the, Hold on. The store too. manager was gonna order catered, that shit. Was it catered or was it uh, potluck? No, ain't not, no, no. Like they catered. cooked that. They had it for the employees. So it's catered. So they they ordered they that shit. It. Yeah, they probably definitely catered it. So that shit was good as. Fuck. But their menu, <laughs> they had their menu was definitely yeah. for like you niggas. <laughs> right. So what you doing? You 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 eating? Yeah. You not gonna you protest? Eating? Okay, now listen. I'm let me say this. Let me say this. Look at me. Let me answer. It. Me right now, I probably would eat it. I'm but protesting. before, if I was working there, I would eat it. Man, listen. I'm not gonna lie. Right now, just because it's certain it's, shit I would eat because I don't eat everybody macaroni. Let me as say contra, as controversial <laughs> as I am, in, macaroni. As controversial as I am in the corporate world right now, man. You, Who made these grease? If it's Juneteenth and I come to work and y'all serving five fried chicken, I see a goddamn piece of chicken and a piece of watermelon. When I get to work, man, I'm slapping the shit out of somebody that day on it. You got I'm me fucking It's gonna be macaroni, collard greens, and yams, grape soda, and water. Stop it, man. It's just stupid. You forgot your lunch that day. You was running <laughs> late. You, <laughs> you was running late. You couldn't stop at Wendy's. You couldn't stop at no spot to get no food. Get that damn fried chicken. They might have, and you know where they went? They went to Mr. Chicken. They didn't even go to KFC. <laughs> What's a Mr. Chicken? <laughs> I like Mr. Chicken. See, see, so you go. I like Mr. Chicken. Eat that Mr. I like Mr. Chicken. chicken. They go get Mr. Chicken, nigga. No, I like Mr. Chicken. For real. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, that no, is I'm, so I'm, no, somebody, somebody, somebody getting getting dog that day. That's so fucked. Up. I'm, I'm that dude. I'm that dude or whatever. Like I'm, I'm, so I'm, a, I'm a, I'm a, that's so I'm a corporate Say. nightmare when it comes to shit like that. You're not, you're not doing you no shit like that. You forgot your lunch you though, nigga. Man, and I forgot my hungry. lunch, nigga. I'm and you hungry though? I have Let a me car. ask a question. Let me ask a question. Can you file? Is there any, like a lawsuit that you could um, file? Is that? Is that? Is that, is that, is that no. No, you ain't filing. So fired. all you could do is. All you could do is you, 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 you could all go. you could do is flood the inbox with complaints. <laughs> well, you know you can you can make a. We know the nigga who complaining too. We can get this whole ass nigga fired, man. He That's all you could grand. do is send a whole. All I know is whoever the fuck ordered this damn chicken, nigga. Oh, be, I, like, be two minutes late. Minutes late. Be, let, oh, you let, boy, listen. Fuck you ordered some chicken and watermelon on. God, <laughs> hey man, let me tell you something. You ordered some chicken and watermelon on Juneteenth uh, for lunch. At, it's Wait, hold on. Is the manager black? It's macaroni too and it, collard greens and yeah, all that other shit. Yeah, man, because if it's Juneteenth. No, fuck that. You can't, you can't, you can't. You can't, you can't. So you niggas, <laughs> exactly. You can't order no chicken and watermelon. White people gonna be there. Oh my God, I love this. It's the chicken. <laughs> you, can't, you can't order no chicken and watermelon. On so basically, the bottom line is. You can't order no chicken and watermelon. Ain't nobody no, gonna feel disrespected. <laughs> ain't nobody gonna feel disrespected. Somebody's gonna feel disrespected. Disrespected, man. Niggas gonna eat it, though. Man, listen, I'm going home for the day. eat it, though. I'm going to eat it, so, so you could feel disrespected, but not disrespected enough to not eat the fucking no, I'm not eating. chicken. I'm not eating. Yep. I'm not so eating. you'll be the lonely nigga and, and go get some fucking. Uh, and I'm, oh, I'm going home. You're going to get your phone. <laughs> My work day is I'm over. You a breast, man. My work day is over. <laughs> Thank you. What day was Juneteenth on? Was it even on a? Late. Was it on a work day? Yeah. Hey, look at that. What what day was Juneteenth on? Tell me, tell me what day it was on. 
What day was it? Was June 19th. What day was that? <laughs> It was a Saturday night. Too. It was a Saturday. Okay, so I don't work Saturdays. Okay, so that I'm not. Some I, I got. Do. I got Saturday off. I come in. I come I in and I'm, I got Saturday. And, and no, 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 no. When I say I got Saturday off, I mean it in a way. If, if I come to work, if I come to work, it's a holiday June, now. You getting paid no, if, I, if I come to work on Juneteenth, Juneteenth, <laughs> and, and, and they didn't decide it. That they getting ready to order some goddamn chicken and watermelon, but it's not just that. Stop Man, saying it too. You can't have no it's in there at all. It's more than it's, it's macaroni. Let me order and my first of all. First of all, it's it's all say macaroni and collard greens. One more time. I, 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 I swear to God. I swear. You say that shit one more time. Because he keeps saying chicken and watermelon. He oh, keeps saying the chicken. Was it there? But it I'm, was I'm just saying. Man. And macaroni and greens. I'm just saying, but all of it is a presentation. Right. All of that together. So, they said, so, so you think they look at it as soul food? food? Hold on, wait a That's second. All how they know, how they know niggas like, like that food? How they know what it does mean? Ain't no niggas. Watermelon <laughs> niggas. That's a hell of a goddamn lineup, man. Nigga, like, oh, that's a lineup. Good ass watermelon. That's a lineup. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Smoke. You know this nigga. We didn't been, we didn't have several shows with this guy. He likes to call people coons. Mm -hmm. he's, you? He's the first nigga yeah. down here talking about, I would eat it. I would eat it. You be calling people coons? He is would. he not being a you coon pro -black? on Juneteenth? Mm -hmm. I am. You pro black. You is only, cooning though with that I, shit that, though, right. man. That's correct. Only reason I say that well, is you own it. At least you own it. Where you get that from, that coon stuff? Dude, don't do that. That's deep. Daddy. That's deep. Don't go that deep right now. Just stay on top of me. Okay, y'all just. Only reason I said. Yeah, stop asking him questions, man. We just told you this. Wait. You the one brought him up? No, but I asked a specific question. I didn't tell you to piggyback. Oh, shit. You just met him. He used to. This is the old. You just met him, man. He used to. Let me ask this. Oh, yeah, I didn't tell you, man. This nigga ain't used to co host and shit back in the day. <laughs> yeah, no, no, clearly. You know, yeah, don't ask him no questions. Don't ask him shit. Just, can I at least ask him where he wore them goddamn shorts? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 because I noticed the shorts when you was mentioning him, he poured a beer in his pocket, and I said, he did "Those are some goofy ass pocket. shorts." You did have Those are some goofy pocket. ass shorts, and I like them. Those are, actually, those are some dope shorts. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we gonna we gonna get to some some shit before we wrap the show. Y'all are fucking crazy. <laughs> God. That nigga's Damn. eating. You niggas that nigga's eating. Crazy. He gonna have watermelon. He gonna have chicken. He gonna have everything. What y'all think about uh, um, rest in peace to the people who lost their lives? Mm. The, co the uh, condo collapse. Yeah, that's 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 cr crazy. That's some wild shit. What do you think really happened with that? I think what happened is what literally happened. Is it? could possibly happen around a lot of places when it comes to like bridges collapsing all of a sudden and the shit deteriorates over time and motherfuckers it's all about making money so they don't reinvest into their properties that's what i see where you at with this that's what i see i just don't think it collapsed okay now why don't you think it, collapsed? it don't look like it i agree well and in addition to it i'm gonna tell you something else what you just said about over a course of time and everything like that, you have inspectors, and that's true. Though, but they, yeah, but and they, they get paid off. But here's the thing: no, no, what you just said, they get paid yeah. off. You have yeah. inspectors, so you either paying off inspectors or there's some. Either way it go, when this situation is is is, is when it does settle, mm. somebody going to jail. Oh of yeah, course. definitely. Somebody going to jail. Of course. Definitely. No, definitely. because there's major neglect. You can't have yeah. a building. With residents collapse, <laughs> or like there's liability there, or going to what he just said about the way I'm, I will say this: the way that it looked like it collapsed remind me a lot of 9/11. Yeah, and because even with 9/11, they was talking about how with the way and and, and, and I ain't no conspiracy theorists or nothing like that. I don't know what the, how the structure. Of, say all that, I mean, no, the, the, point of, the point of what I'm That's saying is that I don't know how the structure of things is, but just from things that I've researched, they was even talking about with the way that that happened. They like, but the way that the buildings failed, it had to be something else involved in that. And the way that they're talking about this, the way that that happened, but you I, can't don't argue with though. That's the thing though. They have to word it correctly. Once you argue how it's worded, is is when it's like you fucking with shit. Yeah. Don't throw it off because we have to say this is what happened. This is the way that it happened. I get it. Once you change, like I say, we we picking at it. Like to me, it definitely like no, that shit. It, 
Maybe it collapsed, but it collapsed from something that y'all did in here. <laughs> Somebody fucked up either like, way. Bless you. That shit looks... It just looks like... No, it's a little bit worse. Though. Where's your mask at with Where's all of that shit? <laughs> <laughs> and he properly <laughs> sneezing in his sleeve. Yeah, that goddamn would take that sleeve and throw it in the world. goddamn trash, man. He <laughs> said... <laughs> <laughs> Take your shirt off. Yeah, but nah, like I said, it's all in your wording though with that. And like I said, that don't look like it just collapsed. It's it's yeah. it's great areas in that shit. Like my thing with that is it's crazy. If it's not, if if it's some funny business going on, what's the motivation behind the funny business? Is it some insurance money? Or? Definitely. Well, I, I feel money because if you have an old an old spot, who's to say? I don't know the place. That, I don't. I don't know nothing about that place. You gonna kill your tenants? Good grief! Oh, people. But look letter. what type of. But people look what. Letter, if you I word mean, it right and it happens right, like you can still come out on top of that. With, like for real. Man, for do real. you know what type of monster you got to be? It's a lot of. Oh my it's god! Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I'm not putting that shit past I know. nobody. But I ain't, I'm not. Niggas will do some despicable shit. They will over some bread. Nigga. Over yeah. some bread. You best believe yeah. it, nigga. Depending, like yeah. you said, nine eleven. Depending on your That's situation, some money, money was involved in that shit. Definitely best money was involved motherfuckers with that got shit. Paid a lot of bread, nigga. Mm. Are you are you serious? Niggas will do some despicable. Hell shit. yeah. Period. Point blank, man. And that shit don't even happen often. What type of insurance do you have if your shit? Hey, is all of them. All of them. Hey, but you know what, man? More importantly, with that this, shit is crazy. Man, people lost their lives. With that, yeah, man, right. and, that, and, and, and fuck the building, more importantly, the people who lost their lives in that situation, man, my heart go out to their families and stuff because, man, that could have been, that could have been somebody we knew. Man, you I be thinking about that when I be in apartment buildings Rolling and I up. be, I be, uh, like on the balconies and what shit like that. that. Yeah. I be like, man, how do you oh, know man, this tray. shit it's one, like one more. is extremely oh, safe? Man, I went to the, what is it, the oh, Sky Deck yeah. in Chicago. Right. Where people, you step out of the thing and I'm like, man, I, I lost it. <laughs> we are on our way to Chicago. We are. Nobody I can't wait. Chicago? It's going we going down. next. We going on Friday. Ne Ain't next Friday. Bitch. Next Friday. Yeah, next Friday. So yeah, we finna have a lot of shit to talk about. We gonna get to vlogging out that bitch. J Mad show y'all niggas better subscribe wait, 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 and watch going? my shit. We actually and what's gonna make this actually kind of dope? Go. We'll make this actually dope. I'm not big on road trips. But it's an adult road That's trip. Five hours, man. That ain't no road trip. But it's trip. an adult. Road yes, that trip, is. Though. My nigga, what you hit me with for? Four plus five hours is a road trip. That's, what you talking about? that's a road trip, my nigga. Hey man, after out the, that, you out the state in five hours. Yeah, and after that, I'm flying, my nigga. Like I'm not gonna lie, I'm not. I'm no, not, I, I, hey man, I feel I you, will man. I fly listen, anywhere in a heartbeat. Listen, when I tell you, man, road trip, man, man, I took the family, man. We we drove to Tennessee to visit my wife's mom. Drove from Tennessee to Myrtle Beach and drove back from Myrtle Beach to Cleveland. And I drove. Every single See, but hour. we ain't talking about no family yeah, shit. We talking yeah, about that's different. Yeah. adults. I'm just talking yeah. about a road trip. And what part is it? Like, uh, like no. Nigga. It, it was, was, it was adults, a long drive. We finna we be turning adults. the fuck We are literally going to be drinking. So <laughs> we are not going to be drinking. We're going to be smoking. <laughs> uh, hey. He didn't mean that. Yes, the We're fuck up looking at me. We're going to be smoking legal. Like they talking about. Uh, I'm medical drinking. Because guess what? They going to be smoking black and miles and driving safely. in my right eye. I ain't driving. And glaucoma is building. They driving. They They smoking black. Miles of I cigarettes, ain't driving. And they gonna be You're drinking definitely ice driving water. Because we going in the Kia. <laughs> I have a wife. I'm not driving like oh, I said. Okay. <laughs> My nigga. Y'all in the y'all in the y'all in the y'all in the Telluride. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, right, that's what it's man. for, ain't it? Ain't it for that shit? Oh, we finna put that bitch in the. Mall. And what nigga, is? we done went out of town. Yeah, me and the wife done went. Just me and her on some shit. DC adult trip. You get the places. A lot faster, more. It's more fun. Man, me and the wife just went to Chicago a couple months ago. Man, we had a ball. Yeah. Well, I don't want to talk about wife trips because you, ain't got to, you know I'm a wife. You know I'm yeah, a wife. You be you be show. pandering. I'm sorry. You he mentioned his wife. No, nah, but you be different. Yeah, this shit was different. You going back to that shit? That shit energy you was on before we left the show. <laughs> <laughs> you going? You see what he's doing right now, right? Uh, he's reverting let's back let's to let's his let's old okay. ways. Thank you. And good night. We no. we <laughs> rebranded. Right, everybody right, rebranded. Right. Everybody right, on that shit. Right. Um, but I ain't got nobody nothing else. Wait, did did y'all have anything y'all want to talk about? Anything pertinent? I said pertinent. You didn't ask me how the weekend was. We over there? Talk, no, I just said. It. Man, shit. What was happening on the weekend? I just was saying you ain't mentioned it. I ain't got shit to say about the weekend. Well, you, 
You did something. What did I do? I don't even remember. Oh, uh, well, nothing yeah, happened on the weekend for you. Barbecue. He, he barbecue did. is always good, man. That's what's up, man. <laughs> Way so old. He, he had barbecuing. He'd he be standing in the kiddie pool while he barbecued with, with, the, <laughs> oh, towel, look, with the, the towel around the, his neck. The Al Bundy pool and shit. <laughs> be in that motherfucking Al Bundy pool and shit. Poking the fucking water in my navel. <laughs> That's what he do, nigga. Thank you. You fucking laughing awfully hard over here in battle, whatever, man. We done been off your ass this whole show. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna be over here co-signing this nigga shit, man, or whatever. Hey. hey. Gotta have a resident old nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm different perspective. Right. Different perspective. Different shit, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Y'all ain't got nothing else? Mm, I'm not finna ask you. I ain't got shit. I'm not finna ask you shit. We gon' we got the box, nigga. Yeah. Ask this nigga. Yeah, he's no, box. let's talk he's all sis and sis, 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 sis man. Yeah. Assist. We, you trying we, to educate us on the new vocabulary? We talking about a sis around here. All right. That made you feel old. It did. Fuck that. That being said, man, J Man Show. We out of here, man. We'll see y'all next next week, right? Yeah. Yeah. We out. <laughs>